Hello guys on YouTube, Shakira Lover Forever here and Matty17. Hey! And this is the video that you've all been waiting for. There's so many people asking about it. Um, and it's the wash house tour of all the washers and dryers that we have. Alright? Uh, I'm trying not to have washers in every room of the house, but it's kind of really tricky when you've got loads and loads. Um, <coughs> 90. Um, so I'll take you through to the back bedroom. Oh. <laughs> it's a mess, just ignore the mess. I will get it tidy one day. This is where we were hoarding toilet paper. <laughs> um, so, first of all, we've got my venture dryer, the Whirlpool, and the Samsung heat pump. They're pretty much two of my favourite dryers of three. Mm -hmm. um, the Chic washer the, that never spins above 900. And then you've got the Siemens top loader, U uh, European style top loader. H axis. Ouch, yep, chuck my finger on it. Um, if you want any request videos, um, I'm happy to do any requests of any of the washers that you see in the video today. Because right. they are all working, aren't they, Elliot? Yes, uh, I think like 99% of them are fairly working. A couple of things we need to do, but um, we'll get there. So this is the main laundry room, which gets changed over like at least every couple of weeks. I'm always taking one of these two out. So my big Americana, GE, um, uh, what do you call it, filter flow thing, mm. and that's got all the regalia, like the fabric softener dispenser, it's got the, the mini basket, mini basket, it's got the um, filter pan that it collects all the crap, uh, really lush washer, we did have one and then it got broke, it didn't work again, so we managed to find this one, pretty much as soon as that one went to the tip. You can see a video of the original one on my YouTube channel, Matty17. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, that's where the And I'm two, turning around, hang this on. This is my newest, my newest purchase, the Artusi. It's made by, what's that one? Vestal. Vestal. Uh, really good washer, but it's literally, um, it's so limited on what you can do. Like, the cycles are really, they don't go above 40, most of them. They don't go above, like, a thousand spins. It's quite limited. There's the no best, extra rinsing. No extra rinse, no options. The best cycle you can use as cottons but it's a nice washer so far and i'm loving it uh we've got the endless this is like my childhood washer i always wanted to have one of this style um i'm going to be recording this next this is the next videos to record it's pretty cool it's got the eco sense button so it's like technically a half load button cute uh the asco dryer matt bought this and for some reason he Liked his Electrolux too much, and he decided to give it to. I do me. like. I didn't give it to you. I gave it to you to try. Yeah. I kind of paid so much money for it, I guess, in a way. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but this has actually been my favorite dryer, like so far. It actually just dries everything perfectly, and you can select um, load size and like dryness level, fine tune, and all that. Like it's actually a really good dryer. Mm -hmm. uh, made by it's Asco, but it's made by Green. Yes. And then uh, when I use the top loaders, I've got the uh, spin dryer there. Set up in your bathroom. Kida Debonair. <laughs> yeah, it's in my bathroom, but you know, it's quite cool. And it seems to do the trick. Mm -hmm. It's um, very useful. Especially when you want to use your heat pump dryer. Mm -hmm. And then in here I've got, oh, I haven't even moved. I've got blankets. My friend gives me all the blankets to wash. Um, well, you kept that quiet. <laughs> that's the um, GE hot point. Thingy, if you can get in there. Oh, well, that's the GP. What point? It's the GE, I don't know, WM62 or something. That's just hidden under there like it's a side <laughs> table. Yes. Uh, on my detergents. Well, this is part one this of the is, detergents. Yeah, there's a lot of detergents. This is like my daily use ones, trying to get through them all and trying to get the numbers down a bit. But, it's, quite, it's quite impressive, it's really. Quite this is where all my money goes. And yeah. then, um, yeah, it's kind of semi-organized, I guess. Matt's is the same, but he's he's got Mine a whole bunch of other stuff. I've got stuff yeah. he'll, everywhere. He'll maybe do one on his own channel one day. Right, and we've got the... Oh, oh. oh yeah. I thought you were giving it to me then. No, 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 no. Um, got the lovely big LG dryer there. Gorgeous. That That's... came as part of a matching set. Yeah, I've got the matching wash to that. Yeah, from a South... This is... These are from South Africa. Yes, because I've never seen that style here. No, no, especially the, especially the LG dryers with the glass door. You re very rarely see that. Yeah, well, they're very American, but yeah, South yeah. Africa obviously has them just, as well. It's just literally great for doing all my duvets and blankets and big things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm trying to get all the washers in like one place, but it just never bloody happens. Typical. Like at least yeah, sort of 
five of the rooms in my house are kind of normal. Mm -hmm. uh, ish. Yeah. <laughs> like, side table, nothing to see here. Yeah, as if. <laughs> That's the amazing Omega reinduction one. Yeah. I don't want to put it outside, I just want to keep it there because mm. I love it. <laughs> I might replace it with something. Um, no space in his kitchen for a dishwasher, but he's made space for one. Yeah, so that's my dishwasher. That is um, That is, is a, uh, what brand is it? A Euromade. Euromade. I think it's made by Beko or Smeg or something. It's, yeah. Really good. No, they're made by Becca or Vestal or whoever it's my makes best, dishwashers. My favourite dishwasher. We cake the day. Um, yeah, we'll, go, <laughs> we'll go straight up to the um, garage. So no, oh, yes. No peeking at anything else. Camera down or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, excuse the garden, like I did have a gardener come out and do it a few weeks ago, but it's actually going back like... Well, it's growing season. Yep. It's growing season. Oh, dog's up first. Oh my dog, my Frankie. Hey. That's a big girl. Uh, so in here... You can talk this one. Okay, well in here we've got the Whirlpool 10 kilo. Um, Elliot likes to buy washers and just leave them in the box. <laughs> For preserving, because he has yeah, so he's got that, which is it is an amazing washer, but I would much rather be using it rather than it just being stored in a box. But anyway, um, and then we've got a Kogan brand machine, which is what made by Midia. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and Elliot really loves that. It's mm. it's an okay washer. It's nice, but not it, keeping just because it. it sounds like a halt point. Yeah, so it's got a plainy motor on it. Then we've got our two little compact top loaders in here. That's the homemaker. For a video of this, you can see on my channel, which is Matty17. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't record half of it, he does. And also the high air, which if you would like to see a video of it, please go to my channel, Matty17. Um, this, is a, this is pretty unique because the power button on it pops out at the end of the wash. So it automatically flips out its own power button, which is really weird and unique. And this is just nice because they sold them in Kmart, which if you live in Australia, you'll be like, whoa, they sold washers in Kmart since mm. when? Yeah. But they did. Just like really cheap, cheap and nasty, but it works for it. Like, Elliot likes it, to keep bottles as it's, well. It's lasted about 17 years. So um, he keeps bottles for prosperi prosperity. It's because I like to refill them with other stuff, but I don't know. I always buy too much product. So. All right, go on. Um, yeah, and if you, if you do want to watch some other videos, you can visit Shakira Lover Forever as well. <laughs> well, we're on Shakira Lover Forever. I don't know this. Well, you can. I'm cameraing. Uh, the, wind, the wind will start and it'll end up just bloody... Banging it. Yeah, like the whole time. Um, so Where are we going? The Dysons. Oh, yes. Hey, watch your feet here. Yeah. I know. I know. <clears throat> so, these are my bathing machines. Mm -hmm. These are, like, the most expensive to import, the Dysons. Yes, these were super expensive and I didn't pay a penny for them, thank God. <laughs> yes, all my decision. It was technically for Matt's birthday, but he has so many and he likes to not have so many in his house, so it's ended up here. And they're over 100 kilos, so to move them they're hard time, to They are hard ridiculous. to move. So, um, Lou, we do up. love the Dysons. We love the Dysons. Um, this one is uh, purple, as you can see. Everyone loves the purple colour. Mm -hmm. uh, this one has been fixed so that it doesn't contra-rotate. But this one, they both have the same drum, but... Um, the contra this one actually contra -rotates. That one actually does contra-rotate. So and this one's, got, this one's got more options as well. This has got like memory program, start, delay. Um, whereas this one does not. Yeah. When I first got these... Um, as far as we knew, we were the only ones in Australia that had them. And yeah. since then, I think there's been one person that has got one over East. Yeah. Um, but, you know, out of three machines that are really unique here, we don't know anyone else that's had them. Mm -hmm. It's pretty awesome. And then the graphite hot point, uh, washer dryer, 1400 spin, super silent, takes ages to bloody balance, doesn't want to balance half the time. What do you call it? Sylvia? Sylvia. Is that what Brandon <laughs> called yeah, it? Yeah, this is um, Bravin. Brandon was here. He called it... Um, Sylvia. That was Sylvia, yeah. And then we got the kind of match and dry, which is kind of nice. Yeah. Um, Where are we going now, Elliot? Top loader alley, I think. Top loader alley? Yeah. Don't trip over the <laughs> pipe. So this is, um, yeah. So this is where we test. This is where we test and fix. Yeah. This Most, is the mostly <laughs> test. Th this is the testing. Zone. You can see this is where we have the water set up, the drainer, the drainage draining onto the garden. It's really handy. Just have that spot. So yeah. at the minute we're just testing a, um, you know, pretty brand new 
um, Hot Point Ariston yeah. that we just got from the discount appliance store because they were selling them for a third of the price. Yeah, it was so cheap. Because there's a couple of dents in it. So hard to walk past a bargain like that. Yeah. And you've had that before and you quite liked it, didn't you? So. did, yeah. All right, you going down the I've, end? I've, of... I've, yeah, I've always liked the Ariston. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, yeah, we'll show the... the um... This is the, the hospital here. Yes, this we're, is the hospital. Where the machines come to get picked in this corner here. Yeah, so, so we've got this Zanussi Vented dryer that just needs an Australian plug put in on it. So we've got someone hopefully doing that soon. Yeah, and we think it works. Um, these are going to the tip, I think. These are going to the tip. I like that, but it's really small and it's dusty and um, I have my Creda Debonair anyway. Yeah. And so then the, Elliot had a thing for vintage microwaves at one point. <laughs> The, the really last, like the, the last, the last thing we need is to collect yeah, anything else. Yeah, I, I don't have room to collect anything else. Yeah. So now we've got uh, these are the machines. See, Matt likes to just open my garage and just drop machines in here. Like I do. Whenever he no, you like bought it. that end one. Oh, I bought this one, but like you like want to... this one. So this Garenia needs its um, this Garenia sensor care needs its brushes fixing. Elliot's really good at fixing brushes. Uh, yeah. So I, I brought it here because you're good at that. Whereas I'm not good at that. Yeah, yeah. And the Panasonic you said you wanted to try yes, because it's got the five jets. That's right. But what I'm saying is, I go to work and I come back and there's like three new washers in my garage. And I'm like, hey, oh, I would man. love that if you did that for me. If you just brought me washers to <laughs> I, use. I don't have enough washers to test them on. Oh, uh, last Simpson ever made. Last Simpson front loader model ever made. Yes. Um, because it's gone obsolete. It's now Westinghouse. Yeah, but yeah. Simpson's made, made by Electrolux. Simpson's been an Australian brand for like since the start of Australia ever. <laughs> since Australia started, Simpsons always been a brand, hasn't it? It's true. And now, and that's it, just finished literally a few months ago. So, there you I go. have to have one. Yes. I have to have one. This uh, so this recycling. <laughs> recycle, yeah, we get about 10 cents for the uh, can, cans there. Right, so we've got Top Loader Alley, which is all the Top Loader American style, Australian style uh, washers and dryers. So this one's pretty cool because it's a drop down door. Yeah, it's a bit unique. It just needs a um, bit of spray paint to get it back to normal. Mm -hmm. I've uh, wiped over all the machines, so they're kind of clean for a little video. Uh, Maytag top loader. This one makes the nicest sounds mm -hmm. <laughs> of the Maytag variety. Mm -hmm. uh, this one's just like your straight vein agitator. Just normal, standard, back and forth. Really big tub. Really slow spin. Uh, I like this one because it's got the grey panel. That's my favourite. Maytag uh, performer. And I like that because it's got the dual action agitator. Mm -hmm. So like it goes, it stops one way, so it, this yeah. corkscrew goes one corkscrew, way. Corkscrew, yeah. Uh, this is Matt's favourite. This is. is the Maytag Atlantis. We call it the Jessica Simpson washer because we watched a video <laughs> once from Jessica Simpson when she was moving in with David, what was his name? Lachey? Nick David Lachey. Le Nick Lachey. Yeah. Um, she had one of these and she was trying to work out how she can use it. Yeah, it was she, was, just, she was like, would I put it on? It's hilarious. She was trying to wash um, some new sheets, but I love the stainless steel bowl and the yeah, huge... Yeah, that's, uh, that's unique uh, for Maytag, actually. They don't, they don't usually right. have that. Oh, and you like this? You want to show the dial thing? Yeah, it's weird. So it's just like, this is a selector. It's a selector dial. You can select it either way. But but if you pull it out and then grab the the white part, it becomes an actual timer. Can you go back the way? No. Oh, that's bizarre. So it's really weird. There's a so... selector and a timer dial. Yeah, it's like yeah. when you when you when you select the cycle, it engages with the timer sort of thing. Yeah. Hard to describe, but yeah. Clean made. Clean made. Classic. Absolutely gorgeous washer. Otherwise known as a Speed Queen Marathon. Speed. A marathon was it? Marathon. Oh, yeah. Nice. That was the name. Um, quite a nice bowl, no fabric softener, but I've got a downy bowl though. Yeah. Um, easy to trip lid. Uh, this one does spin drain. Yeah. And this one doesn't for some strange reason. No, this one's been Australianized. Yeah, the Australian ones don't, the modern ones don't do any. Very much like that Maytag down at the end doesn't yeah. do a spin drain. Yeah, some of them do, some of them don't. It's just a bit weird. Um, I've always wanted a Whirlpool old school top loader. Matt had this something similar to this when he was growing, growing up, up. Yeah. <laughs> in Australia. Um, so I just had to have one as well. Mm -hmm. Again, no soften a bit. It's got that nice agitator, the dual one. Mm -hmm. uh, this one I think leaks a little bit, but just the fact that it does such a good job and it does all the right sounds for me, mm -hmm. <laughs> I quite like it. GE, this one's like really big capacity. It's supposed to be like 10 kilos, I think. Really good heavy duty washer, works totally fine. 
Um, probably one of my probably one of my favourites actually. Yeah, be, you had it in recently. Yeah, and you could not stop raving yeah, about it. Yeah, that would be one of my. I've actually got videos of it to upload, so this would be my last top loader to go. I would think yeah. that and maybe resting house. This one, <laughs> I love this. I love this. Mm -hmm. This is a babe washer, uh, and I've managed to find a new. Matt must have dropped it off here, and I've managed to get a new cat. I don't it. know where that came. From. I don't know where it came from, but it's definitely coming in handy. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't even know. I just put that on. I don't know. Whatever. You like the yellow? Um, I like that. It's got the softener button, the detergent drawer, easy left to right Controls. buttons. Yeah. This one I haven't actually tried yet. Matt's used it. It's on his channel. If yes. You want if to you'd watch like it. to see a video of it, this is actually on my channel, which is Matty Seventeen. <laughs> uh, yeah, you've got all your. <laughs> So it's got an on and off button, that's a bit different for a top loader. Yeah. You select all your cycle and everything. <laughs> um, I quite like that, it's really fun. It's good that it's got a glass lid, it appeals to me. And the yeah. agitation on it is amazing. It's a good agitator, yeah. It's, it's really nice big, it's really big fins. There's mm -hmm. four fins on that actually, so that takes, that's more action. It's heavy duty. Um, but as I say, I do want to get more washers in, but I just can't get through them quick enough. I don't have enough washing to do, like, you mm. know. I'm sure washer, you, you just will have the same problem. Yes. Um, standard American style. Whirlpool dryer. Top loader style dryer. Yeah, just, just time dry. There's no automatic yeah. dry on this. Just, just absolutely huge inside, like, good for blankets. Mm -hmm. The Mali's Aquarius 1400A, my favourite one, but the panel's a bit beaten up, so we try and take good care of that. Side opening lid, green tub. There's videos of this on uh, Shakira Love Forever's channel, and it's quite funny videos, really, because I think, we did, I think <laughs> yeah, we did it we just, as a Facebook Live. Yeah, we just had we? a bit of a piss take, really. We did. Um, we did you think that on another rinse? We've got to put it on a rinse and spin, because that didn't do it right, did it? Yeah, these, the only thing with these, if you don't spin, you, and the inter spins, too sudsy, it mm. never, you only get two rinses or something. Right. I've um, got my little Hitachi. I think Matt picked this up. Yeah. Matt likes to get all the twin tubs and everything. I do. I just like that slightly side, slightly angled agitator. It does a really good job. Yeah, really Such good. Such a good job. And really good be fast spin dryer there. Mm -hmm. They're just really, they're fun to use just because they're different, aren't they? Yeah, but that's all Australia had at one stage and people still rave about them. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Right, and now the... Fiesta resistance. Yeah, the wash house. This is the washatorium. This is all your. This is where your dreams come true. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> right. Wow. Whole day organising it and getting it tidy and dusted and everything. Mm -hmm. So what we got? So we've got the higher twin tasker. That's amazing. Everyone seems to rave about this and they love seeing the videos of it. Actually, yeah. that needs. Just ignore that. <laughs> Hasn't been used in a while. It needs a wipe over. Wipe over. So you've got a four kilo washer on top yeah. and an eight and a half kilo washer on the bottom? I think it's just eight. eight the twelve all up, yeah. So you can yeah. do twelve kilos at once. It's got a nice little um detergent dispenser. Oh yeah, that's unique. I love that. Very unique. And the same as the big LG, it's got the little um or the detergent bit on the top there, which mm -hmm. is quite fun. These these were really popular in Australia, but yeah. they were meal of money. Like they were yeah. You could buy a mealer for the same cost. It's got a recirculation jet. Mm -hmm. Up the top. So that. Oh, it's dust. I thought it was powder. Mm -hmm. um, as I say, I don't get a chance to use them all, but I really am trying to be more. use them more in an order so mm -hmm. that I can like, get through them all. Yeah. And then people say, oh, can I have this video and that video? And it's like, I don't have enough washing. <laughs> <laughs> but we try and create washing. Somewhere. We try and create. Um, as some, I did a family's washing a while ago as well. That was quite good. Mm -hmm. But they got their own set after that. Um, Whirlpool, Matt picked this up like a couple of weeks ago. Just this needs was a new like, solar. I remember this. This was the first modern washer that I ever really saw that used like really low water and did this whole like... Um, distribution pattern it did like burst spin bursts I'd, I'd never seen that before yeah we'd always had tricity bendixes induction um and i've seen like indices and stuff i'd never seen anything like this and when i first seen it at my friend mum's friend's house i just couldn't stop watching it so we had to have one mm -hmm. and um i love that the wee selectors behind the screen as well yeah the wee timeline wee timeline um this just needs a new solenoid doesn't it Yes, it does. It needs a new cold solenoid. Right, moving along. Got the Ascos here. That's your Asco Excellence dryer. Safe. We only really have it because it matches this one perfectly. Yeah. Um, that's a beauty. That's 1600 spin. You can like alter the water level. Actually, 1500 
No. 1500 spin, but I adapted it up to 1600 up spin. To 16, and yes. someone on YouTube told me how to do it, which was very helpful. Yeah, so now we have a super, super fast. This is a babe washer. And it was love. free. And it was free. The best machines have been free. We've had that and the GE. Yeah, that was free. Oh, I gave him $20 just for the sake of it. Yeah, that's right. For the but that, the, um, this, this ASCO dryer Elliot had to pick up on Christmas Day. Um, a couple of years ago, <laughs> and I can't believe it. He picked it up on Christmas Day. Had to get it. Like, had to get yeah, it though. We needed to have it to yeah. match. To match. Uh, we've got the other ask. I like this. This is your condenser dryer. We did we have that. Have, we did have the matching have... washer, but we weren't as impressed with the matching yeah, washer. Yeah, I gave that to my friend, and then it actually broke just a few months ago. Actually, yeah. So. Yeah, he had a good couple of years. He did. And then um, the two thousand oh, RPM. The very unique two thousand RPM spin. What an absolute babe. It's a really good washer, and it and it always manages to reach two thousand RPM. And if yeah. it doesn't do it the first time, then it'll go round and it'll try again. Yeah. The only thing we hate about this machine is the detergent drawer. Yeah. They were the worst designed detergent drawer that Asco ever did. Yeah. They were trying to be like Hot Point Ariston with their slidey outy drawer, yeah. but it just leaked and rusted. Yeah, and, it and was the, awful. the softener always got taken in like way too early. Like the softener bit wasn't. Yeah. Really, it kept flowing the water into there. Right, Hoover 530, this is like Matt's jam, this is um, This is my jam. She's always had to have a Hoover front loader. Always had to have Aussie this style. classic. Well, Which... because I didn't know that they did them <laughs> until, like, but my granddad had this top loader. Yeah. Had the top loader version of this, and with I thought same. that was it, with the same controls, yeah. the same, Programs. like, dial and everything. But then I went to someone's house and saw this, and it was the same style but in a front load i was like oh that's nice that's different it's nice different it's like that's i like nice. it <laughs> quite nice really quite nice um philip just just oh, yeah. with that like the water levels are just truly amazing and the tumble speed so and the fast. you know and i love the, the this dial just sings to me just the <laughs> fact that it says so simple says what speed it does and yeah it's just nice and easy to read there's no nothing too confusing about it yeah induction motor as well induction really. motor yeah uh, we've got the Phillips dryer here. Quite nice, quite unique. Quite nice, yeah. I think I picked it up for like 50 bucks. Very similar, very yeah. very much the same as what they had in the UK. It's like a White Knight, isn't it? Is it made by White Knight? I think it is. I, I couldn't tell you. No, these, yeah, were, got... these, no, these oh, were truly it? Phillips. No, these were pure oh, Phillips. Okay. What else I don't they think White Knight. Oh, right, okay. uh, White Knight. So, made. Something's, something's made by White Knight. I don't know what it is. Clean made over here <laughs> and made by White Knight. Yeah, that's what it is. Were. Bendix, Bendix Auto Auto Dryer Deluxe. Deluxe. So that's just a lush overall dryer. Just we'd be really happy to find the matching washer to that. We'd if just... anybody wants to send us it, please. Yeah, yeah, we'd be Feel really free. happy. And then you choose your time there, and then you also choose your heat on the dial here. So that's, that's how really you start cool. it. Yeah, so you, so can... you, yeah, so you yeah. can have it off, and then you just turn that, and it starts it to whatever... Um, temperature yeah. you want and you can select like whether it uses the whole element half the element quarter of the element or just fan dry yeah it's pretty advanced pretty good pretty flexible um if any washer had to go right now it'd probably be this but i like it because it's unique and it has the um the symbols uh, the letters as the programs and you've got two quick washes in there and it's it's only a 500 spin but oh my god it's just really cool it's cool, but it's not amazing. It just yeah. I don't, Someone's I don't, put a washer dryer door on it as well. Yeah, and I remember people that had that washer like. Mm. See, I've, I mean, I've never seen I've never seen an Aquacycle five hundred induction. Mine, all I ever saw was the eight hundred. Yeah, like well, the FL eight o. Yeah, I've never actually seen one as low spin as that. But they were around because every washer in the UK came in like a five hundred, six hundred spin, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Almost. So now say jet system turbo dry washer dryer. This is somebody really yeah. Somebody brought this with them from the UK. Yeah, and they basically broke the door on it. So I basically had to get a new door from somebody who sent it over to me. Very generous. Yeah. Small capacity. Very small for a washer dryer. But super powerful and super effective. Yeah, really good left to right controls. Um, sixteen hundred spin. Like, what more do you want? And it just. You can have quick wash or normal wash, and it does spin rinses. Yes. Two of the rinses do spin rinses, which is really fun. Um, Eurotech. Um, Eurotech, this is induction 600 spin uh, washer. Got it from a wee old Italian guy who, I think he got moved into a home, and his neighbour was selling it for him, and he was, like, he, I think he only sold it for $50, and uh, the neighbour was like, oh, no one's going to want an old washer like that for 
you know, like any more than 50 bucks. And this guy was reluctant to sell it. He just wanted, he thought he was going to get like brand new money for it, you know. Um, but it's got your typical Maloney style old school drum, eh, what do you call it, drawer. Um, cold water, half load, no spin, uh, rinse Oops, load. Okay. Not even huh? oh. I wasn't even filming you then, sorry. Oh. No. <laughs> um, I love that drum, it's like got the Maloney typical, have a little look in there. Little drum, but a really shiny version one. Mm -hmm. I love this washer. It does really fast tumbles, so it's almost like distribution every time. And then we got the Maloney dryer. I've got a soft spot for Maloney's and Ardo's, a bit like Mikey Clark. <laughs> but, who, got, um, who got you this one? Oh yeah, Matt got me this for my birthday. Which I've still got after all these years. What year did we start the collection, Matt? No idea. It was like eight, seven or eight years ago. Something like that. Yeah, it's quite a long time ago. So this. This has been a work in progress. We've taken so long to, to get, get to this, to this point. point and, and so a lot lucky, of money. <laughs> a lot of money. And we're so lucky that we can have a space like yeah. to do it and to have fun outside and do all that. Mm -hmm. um, classic Electrolux, Australian style dryer. These these are made over and over again in many different guises. They're branded yeah. as Simpson, Westinghouse now. Yeah. Um, they they are a super super good dryer. Yeah. Like they they the sensor on them is so accurate. They've got good timing options. Never gets too hot. Never gets too hot. It reverses every minute, We've, which stops, yeah. which means it's amazing for sheets. Really good for sheets. And we got the next version from this with the artist on. If you see the videos. Yeah. And uh, honestly, I just felt like you could dry everything in it, and yeah. nothing shrinks. Yeah, it Re just, really good dryers. It really dries it perfectly and no more. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, these are these will always be like really big, really popular in Australia. Yeah, this little style of electrical. Their dryer. quality has diminished as as they've been made by different yeah. people, but then like yeah. you know, as such is life. They seem to there seems to be more of the newer ones out on the verge side, mm -hmm. eh? on the roadside collection. All right, all right, the Bosch. Um, this is the only Bosch I'll ever have, so let's move on quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I like this style, 1400 spin, piano keys, backwards handle, uh, really can get unbalanced and doesn't care. It, yeah. Um, it's a really good washer. I really like having this in actually. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not a huge fan of Bosch, so this is the only Bosch that you will have. That Unless I'm, one of the older ones comes that up. I'm but... very happy with, yeah. yeah. Uh, this is Matt's yeah. mostly. I mean, the whole collection is basically shared, but. We have our own washers as well, kind of. Mm -hmm. So this has lived here pretty much forever, but it's Matt's. Yeah. He got it. He would never get rid of it, even though it is very yellow. Yeah, it's yellowed dramatically over time. I don't know quite why. Yeah. Considering it was quite old when I got it, but it's made by Gorenia. Yeah, this um, is... So anybody that knows Gorenia machines, or I think they were badged as belling wash wise in the uk they'll take one look at it and go yeah it's a bit yeah. it's a grenier i just love that dial like, the dial i love because it's it's very much like a top loader dial so much fun yeah it Thousand uses spin it uses low water but it does um it does uh really fast into spins it spins at a thousand every spin so that's yeah. really cool that's cool um love it it is good fun okay yeah. this is all my um for sure for display detergents yeah some of them still work but well, they all still work. It's just some of them have lost their fragrance. Yeah. You know, obviously these these ancient ones that I got Elliot for his birthday a couple of years ago. <laughs> um, they don't they don't smell of anything, but it's just nice to have the packaging. Yeah, it's nice to have that old. It feels a bit like a shop. The same with these tides up here. These were just empty boxes I bought off eBay, but just to have that classic tide. Yeah. Um, logos. But you can see that the... one's still full. Yeah. Uh -huh. There's like there was one that was still full but lost its scent. Yeah. But you can see there's like a huge variety here of powders. We tend yeah. to just pick up whatever we think yeah, looks whatever, interesting. Whatever we can see that's different. Yeah. Or if it's being phased out. Like a lot of this stuff, I've got it because it's all being phased out. Like that so drive changes. powder in the middle there, you will never see again. Yeah. Unfortunately, in, in that, guys, that was a really good Australian-made detergent. And it's just been discontinued. And it's just devastating <laughs> that it was yeah. discontinued. But... You know, you've got some vintage surf there from the US. You've got, you know, we picked this up, this comfort. That's really old Australian comfort. We picked that up from a, what, what would like you call a, it? A salvage brick yard. A brick a it was like a bric a brac store. salvage yard. Um, you've got ones that we've got off eBay. Purex, um, Dash from Italy, Cuddly, 
Tesco and Asda tablets, yeah. what Elliot got when I, he went back to the I UK. I love all my tablets. I like to keep tablet box yeah. tablets. There's just so many different ones. There's vintage personal performances. That's what my aunt used to use. Yeah, my grandma used them as well. Personal non-bio. You know, you got these detergent sheets from Purex. Pods, softeners. It's just... <laughs> The, this the is like beat the main, goes on. Yeah, this is. I just like to have it on display because it's kind of yeah. nice. Yeah, it, it does. It does look nice from and, a. And I, I was lucky that this um, house came with this shelf that I. Could yeah, cover. exactly. It was almost purpose built for you. Yeah. Just take the camera for a bit. I'm just going to. Are you going to see that? Artist? Oh, Jesus! Oh, don't jumped. go off! Don't go off! Don't go off! Hello, you still there? You still with us? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Right. Let's keep going with the tour. Um, this room is just huge. Uh, there's so many machines in it. Right. This is the AEG Lavatherm uh, condenser dryer. You can take the condenser out and use it as a vented dryer. It still works really well. Um, really nice dryer, really quiet. AEG 1800 spin with the recirculation jet. We absolutely love this. This is the Babe. This was like the first really fast spin machine we had above 1600. I love the red. All this lights up red pretty much. It's just really fun, really nice. Same with this one. This is only a 1600 spin without the jet and it's backwards. Like the controls and everything, it's back to front to that one. Still a good washer. Don't want to get rid of it. It's got the um, dryer brackets on the top. AG 1000 spin. Very basic. Uh, timer dial. Pull in, push. Pull out, push in. Backwards door. Really cute, really small. Doesn't use a lot of water, but does a good job. Uh, I really like my AEGs. I never used to, but once I actually had, this was the first one I got. And after using that, I was like, oh, you know, I really like this. This is classic. And then I got um, the 1800 and then the 1600. I love the look of it. I love the chrome door. You can hear the Ariston spinning away there. It's like heavy unbalanced. Um, this one has got the secret rinse, uh, rinse level. It's under here somewhere. There. Can't really, can't really get in there, sorry. Yeah, there. Is it there? Yeah. It's got the little switch there, and that's for your extra rinse. It gives you an extra rinse and high level rinse. And you can use that even with the quick option. So there's so many things you can do with this. It's 1500 spin. You can soak, you can pre wash, you can quick wash, you can have intensive. You have to press the button if you want to use softener. Um, door button, delay start. So it's got everything you'd possibly need in a washer. It's got all energy saver cycle. You know, uh, you can do like synthetics, easy care, I mean, and then you can uh, put it on quick and it takes like 50 minutes or something. And then this is my favourite front loader brand, although in very close, uh, I like, I love AEG and I love um, the Ascos and I love my Hotpoint Ariston Indesit. So this is the whole wall of them. So matching Hotpoint WM set, this just needs brushes. Hotpoint WMA, um, they get really unbalanced and it kind of annoys me because like I'm scared in case it's going to just like literally kill itself. Um, Hotpoint first edition dryer, I'd love to find the matching washer to this. Now this, oh my god, my gran had this dryer for years and you could just always hear it in the kitchen and it makes a really, when it starts tumbling each way, it makes a really loud, it kind of goes whoomph. Like you can just, you can hear it from like all through the house. And I just remember that at my grand's house and I just love this. I love that we found one. Such a good, it's not very, it's not a very quick dryer, but it works really well. I just remember this panel. I just remember that and the wee clicky dial. Um, hot point washer dryer, fairly basic. The bearings are going on that. Uh, Ariston 1000. I love my Aristons. I've got the 1000 spin more modern one and I've got the Margarita 1600. That is my babe with the stain removal bleach button. Um, 1600 spin, extra rinse. Oh, that, the stain removal is extra rinse. Uh, you can get rapid wash, pre wash, rinse, hold. Love it. Does all the motions, all the different wash speeds. And then I've got the 1200 version of that, which I doctored a little bit and put some nice colour on it. <laughs> put a little bit of makeup on it, made it look pretty. Um, that one's the brushes are going. But still, they still all work, anyway. Um, and then we've got the minis here, we've got the Creda Simplicity Wee Mini Tiny Dryer. 
I don't really use it, but it's just nice to have because it matches the same size as a little Dometic Electrolux style um, mini B RV washer type thing. This actually, did this one come from a boat? You know, it came from an RV. From an RV. This one came from an RV. They probably, I think it was brand new actually. We bought it for like 300. Um, they'd never used it or whatever, so we were lucky. This has only been used a few times, so good washer. I just love it. It's got really good levels. The rinse levels are like up to here. Little Panasonic baby panny. If you'd like to see videos of that machine, it's not <laughs> Matty 17. Matt comes over, he uses it, and I'm like, oh, I love this washer, and I never end up using it. It's um, Gravity Drain. Amazing. Doesn't have a pump. Really good washer. Like, the Asians like to wash all the baby clothes and separately, so um, they all have some of them that can afford to have these wee washers that they can do all their kids' clothes on it. And then a the little Q-Flow, with its wee flushy dispensary thing. I see videos of that, that's on the channel of <laughs> Yep, videos are all there. Um, that's lush, I like that. I haven't used it myself yet, but I will. There's so many washers that I just haven't got around to using, but... <sighs> I mean, you've got this many. <clears throat> it's so easy to miss, miss some and not use them as much. Um, so that's all the minis there. On top of the hot points and Aristons. Then we've got my Indesit 600 spin. I'd love to have a faster spin one, but in terms of just like childhood memories, my aunt had this exact washer. I don't know what spin speed, probably a bit faster. I just love it. It works in the same way. It's got that old drum, but it works in the same way as the Aristons. It does all the distribution washes and stuff. Slow rinses. That's got a really high rinse on it, actually. Probably makes up for the lack of spin. Uh, and then we've got the Blackies here. We've got the service. Seven kilo tumble dryer. These are the blackies. I had to have a black couple of blackies in. My Indesit, this was imported from the UK. Uh, they don't have this model here. I just had to have it because I wanted a black washer to match my dishwasher as it was all in the laundry at the same time. Um, absolutely cool washer. A lot of options, a lot of cycles. Um, cycles are quite long though, but most of them. That's all right. I won't hold it against it. Then we'll go out and we'll do the other side of the front loaders. Fisher and Pyco, this was Matt's. I bought it off him for a really cheap price. Uh, still has the proper wash plate on the back. Um, instead of the normal one, which is there now. Um, this is just a classic babe washer. The first washer we had that did all the fancy spins and everything. The Vortex wash. Really high rinses, daily wash. It's got everything you want. My mum's got the newer model of it. She quite likes it, but she can never work it properly because she just puts in too much of a mixed load. It never spins, and then they complain that it doesn't spin because they just it's a modern washer and it balances. It's too fussy the balancing. We've got this Defy, which is like South Amer uh, South African Beko style washer. It has the Aqua Forty Forty cycle, which I love. Just big splashy distribution wash and tumbles. Seven kilo, I think. Uh, Twelve hundred spin. Really cool washer. I love that it's. I love the colouring of it. This room looks really fancy. And then we have got the Beko Excellence. I think this one is. Yep. Excellence twelve hundred eight kilo. Um, good rinse levels. Really good washer. I think a lot of people like these ones. It's got the wee screen. Now we've got the Smeg washer dryer, which I bought from brand new. Really nice washer. This video's this is on my uh, YouTube channel. A few machines back, if you have a look. Lovely wee washer. Does what it's meant to do. Good rinse levels. Uh, Technica, which is pretty much the older version of this, but it's an eight kilo, uh, four, fourteen hundred spin. All the same. Oh, that's a bit dirty. And then it wash that. Same kind of uh, cycles. Daily wash is like three and a half hours. Never mind. Uh, and then we've got my other Omega, the Whiny. It's exactly the same as the induction one, but has a Whiny motor. So there we have it, people. That's um, oh, hold on, I forgot the top loaders. <laughs> Fisher and Paco Aqua Smart Wash Plate Top Loader. Really awesome washer. Just gets on with it. He's got videos on his channel. I can do videos if you want. Fisher and Pyco Intuitive. I remember when I moved here in 2005, all the families that moved from the UK had this washer. 
They used, <clears throat> one family I know used the guy used to ram it absolutely full like a front loader. He didn't get that the clothes had to like flow through the water. So the agitator was like going like that, do 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 do, and the and the clothes were base, barely moving. They were just like stuck because they were so crammed in. And I used to think, oh god, they're never getting washed, are they? Some people are just a bit stupid. Uh, LG, this is the one that matches the dryer inside. So. Right, okay, I love this. This is the South African version. It's a turbo drum. And then you've got this one, which is a six motion. I love this. This is an absolute babe. It's huge, right? But you know what I don't get? Right, okay. And then I've got the... I'll show you this in a minute. Eight kilos, right? This is what I don't get. This is the eight kilo washer, right? That's quite a big drum, but not huge, right? And then you go 10 kilo, which is a bit wider, right? And then the 15 kilo one is like the smallest drum size. I don't get it. It's definitely not 15 kilos. It is deep, but it's definitely not as wide. So they screwed up the sizes there. Unless South Africa has a different size grade for their tubs, I don't know. And then we got the Samsung. This is like my brand. My, I bought this brand new. Um, it didn't have the basket sock basket in it so it really appealed to me because i can actually see what it's doing really good washer um cotton cycle always does warm rinses for some reason i think that's a samsung thing i don't know um but yeah it's pretty good with a little magic dispenser thing there there you go so any questions any requests just gives a shout and let us know, but that's pretty much the wash house. Don't you love it? It's like a Harvey Normans. <laughs> it's like an appliance store. Anything else you want to add to this video? No. Nah. You're all good. Um, what's your favourite wash and why? <laughs> Have you? Oh, yuck. No, because they're coming out because there's water out. Yeah, that's right. Um, what is my favourite washer? Ooh. Like, if you had to keep three of the Ooh. whole collection, Ooh. what are we going for? Definitely the Hoover Electra. Hoover Electra? Just because it's unique. Yep. Um, the 2000 Spin Asco because it's unique. Yep. And the Fisher & Parker Aquasmart. Oh yeah, that's a, good, that's a good choice. Right, what did I say the other day? I said I wanted to keep the Omega induction motor. Yep. Um, well, I don't even remember. <laughs> did I say one of the Dysons, the white Dyson? Oh yeah. The Omega. I, mean, I should have said one of the Dysons as well. Yeah, the Omega. the Omega, the Dyson, and I said the GE top loader, I think. Just because that's my jam. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. But, um, yeah, basically we're at the one in, one out stage, but it doesn't always happen. Um, no, it's more like three in, maybe. <laughs> Every time the um, collection comes around for the, you can get four, four appliance pickups a year. It's like, oh yeah, let's get rid of some. And then we end up just buying like a whole bunch more. So, mm -hmm. I mean... <sighs> I'm, ha I'm okay with this. I'm okay with the wash house, but I really don't want it all round in the house like it is now. It's like driving me nuts. But it is what it is. It's our hobby. And, you know. In this troubling world, we need to be happy, don't we? Yes, wash will make us happy. <laughs> so, yeah, as I say, any requests for me or Matty17? I'll do my own video of my own collection. Um, soon. At a later date. Or watches, <laughs> or watches, date. Or watches a mosquito. I know. I know. They're all everywhere. Oh. Tis the season. So annoying. I need to put some um, stuff on. Um, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video today. Um, hopefully it lived up to your expectations of what you wanted to see, the whole collection. I can't think of anything really funny and witty to see. I'm just literally showing you the collection. So. No, just please go and visit Matty17 for you. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I love it. It's just like the best little room ever. It's, um, yeah. I just say it's taken a lot of money, a lot of effort to get here, a lot of organising. Spent me like a like a couple of hours last night just sorting that shelf out because one of the soaps had like dissolved everywhere and made a big mess. So, uh, and I've got all my supplies up there. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Love to hear some of your comments. And have a good day. See you later.